Hey guys, let's talk a little bit about iOS 4.3.2. Yeah, I know I've been talking so much about 4.3.1, so let's talk a little bit about this update that's going to come and it's rumored to come in the upcoming two weeks. So, not that much time left there, huh? So, it seems like they're going to fix some problems uh, that people have been addressing in the 4.3 and the 4.3.1 update, and some of these serious problems that people have had is this FaceTime issues that has been the freezing and all like that. Also people that's running the carrier Verizon on the iPad 2 have had problems connecting to the carrier's 3G network and obviously that's that's a massive problem. I mean obviously those iPad 2 guys they want to connect to the 3G network of Verizon's little network there but if they can't then you know that, that kind of sucks for them. So that seems to be two things that Apple is going to try to fix in the upcoming iOS update. Also seems like some security fixes and stuff like the WebKit and stuff like that in security fixes that they're going to try to fix that. Also some maybe perhaps some small thingies like yeah they are probably going to make some small update that we need to find out ourselves. Also Perhaps we don't know if this is going to apply to the iOS 4. Point, uh, I mean, the Verizon iPhone. I mean, it's still stuck on the iOS 4.2.6. It didn't get the iOS 4.3 update, but still, the iOS 4.2.6 it had some things that iOS 4.3 guys on uh, on AT&T got. So yeah, that's why they didn't get that update because they already had those things. But is this update going to apply to? Verizon iPhones? Yeah, that's a very good question. Also, is this going to fix some battery issues that people have had? Yeah, also very, very good question, but we're going to find out more in the upcoming two weeks when it's probably going to be released is this Apple source informing us about. So, that's kind of good. So, stay tuned for that. See you.